happy Friday, children. It is our last Friday together, unless you guys do the extended year, which I'm going to talk to your parents about soon. Um, I'm really sad that we never got to see each other again, but I will be there at the school on Wednesday, hopefully, when everybody comes and picks up their stuff. Now, when you guys come and get your stuff that you've left in the classroom or books that we've used throughout the year, because I have a lot of stuff, there are also t-shirts that were made for all of you. So you guys can get that. And then I'm also shh, putting in a little surprise for you. So make sure you come and get your stuff, okay? So since today is the last day, we're gonna read a book from the Berenstein, or the, I'm not sure. The Big Purple Book of Beginner Books. Now, this is called A Fish Out of Water. So some of us might feel like that next year. Some of us might feel like we're a fish out of water which means we're not necessarily comfortable with going to a new school. So since you guys will be going to Jefferson, there are gonna be a lot of kids, but I don't want any of you to feel like you're a fish out of water. Never, okay? Because I want you guys to be happy, and you guys are gonna to make tons of friends, and you guys are gonna love it, okay? So just keep that in mind. So today, it's A Fish Out of Water. It's by Helen Palmer, and illustrated by P.D. Eastman. So let's see what this book is about. This little fish, I said to Mr. Carp, I want him. I like him, and he likes me. I will call him Otto. So, what's the fish's name? Yeah, his name is Otto. So, so far the characters in the story are Mr. Carp and Otto. We don't know this little boy's name yet. Very well, said Mr. Carp. Now I will tell you how to feed him. Then Mr. Carp told me, when you feed a fish, never feed him a lot. So much and no more. Never more than a spot or something may happen. You never know what. Uh-oh. So we know to feed them just a little bit, right? So now we know how to take care of a fish so far. Then I took Otto home. I gave him some food. I did not give him much, just one little spot. So you just give him some, a little spot. See that? He's feeding the fish. But this did not make Otto happy. He wanted more food. He had to have more. Poor Otto. He just had to have more. Notice that had is capitalized. Why do you think they capitalized all the letters here for had? Do you think he's going to feed Otto some more food? Let's find out. I knew what Mr. Carp had told me. Never feed him a lot. Never more than a spot. Or something may happen. You never know what. But I gave Otto all the food in the box. Uh-oh. He gave all the food to Otto. What do you think is going to happen? Then something did happen. Notice that did is capitalized again. Well, had was, but now did is. Why would did be capitalized? My little Otto began to grow. <gasps> he's so he's growing. I saw him grow, I saw him grow and grow. Soon he was too big for his little fishbowl. Oh my goodness, he's huge. So if he's too big for his fishbowl, what would he have to do? There was just one thing to do. I put Otto into the flower bowl. There, Otto, I said, this will hold you. That's a big flower bowl. But no, the flower bowl did not hold him. Otto went right on growing. This was not funny, not funny at all. His tail was growing right up out the top. So he keeps growing. So he was that small and now he's filling up the whole fish, fish bowl. Now what? Or the flower bowl. Filled up the fish bowl, now the flower bowl. What are we gonna do with Otto? I grabbed the flower bowl, I ran with it. Otto, I said, I know just where to put you. Then he will be, then you will be all right. So what's it look like he's putting him in? I put him in a big pot, but Otto was not all right. I saw him grow more and more. Very soon, he was too big for the pot. Oh my goodness. So he grew out of the fish bowl. Then he grew, grew out of the flower bowl. Now he's growing out of the pot. I put him in pot after pot. He was growing so fast. Poor Otto, my poor little fish. Oh, why did I feed him so much? You think he learned his lesson? He's gonna keep growing, where are they gonna put him? Otto, I said, stop growing, please. But Otto could not stop growing. He was growing all the time. Very soon I ran out of pots. Now he's running out of pots. Where are we gonna put him now? If the fish has to stay in water, we realized that, we learned that, didn't we? This year when we had Ocean Week, you have to have gills to breathe, breathe underwater and if you don't have lungs, which fish don't, this fish doesn't, what's he gonna do? Otto had to have water. There was just one thing to do. 
I did it. I grabbed him. I grabbed him by the tail. I ran with him up to the tub. The tub is big. It can hold lots of water. So where are they going to put him now? In the tub. So hopefully the tub will hold him. At last. There, Otto, I said. This tub holds my father. This tub holds my mother. So it will hold you. So now Otto is in the tub. Do you think the tub is going to hold him? Is Otto going to grow any bigger? Take your guess. Make a prediction. What's your prediction? Let's see. But the tub did not hold him at all. He went right on growing. Oh, Otto, I said, what can I do now? What can we do? What's he going to do? Then crash! The door went down. Crash! Otto went down. I went down too. Oh, what a ride. So they're flying down the stairs. Okay, they're flying in the water down the stairs. But where is Otto going to go? What's bigger than a tub that could hold water? What do you think? Down went the water into the cellar and down went Otto too. I had to do something fast. I grabbed the phone. Who do you think he's going to call? Who would you call in this situation? I might call my mom. Hey mom, my fish won't stop growing. I called a policeman. Well, that's smart, that's a good idea. Help, help, I said. I fed my fish too much. Mr. Carp told me not to, but I did. What, said the policeman? Mr. Carp told you not to, but you did? Too bad, I will come at once. So he didn't listen to Mr. Carp. And the fish grew. Now what is the policeman going to do? What do you think? The policeman came. My fish went that way, I said. He is down in the cellar. So now they're going to go to the cellar. What, is, what are they going to do with the fish? The policeman ran down with me. What a fish, he said. He is much too big to keep in a cellar. We will have to get him out. But he's using a net. Is that net going to fit on that fish? No, Otto was way too big for that net. So now what? We had to work and work to get Otto out. Poor Otto. Oh, why did I feed him too much? Mr. Carp told me something would happen, and it did. It did. So maybe you should start listening to adults. If an adult tells you to do something or not to do something, a trusted adult, if they tell you to do something or not to do something, should we listen? Probably. Now we had Otto out of the cellar. But now Otto had no water. No water at all. And we know fish need water, right? A fish has to have water, I said to the policeman. We must take him to water. Get help. Call for help on the radio. So where do you think they're going to take Otto now? He's outside. He can't live outside. So he has to live in water. Where would be a big place with water for Otto? The policeman called on the radio. He called for the fireman. Help, help, he said. A boy has fed a fish too much. A boy has fed a fish too much? We will come at once. So now here come the firemen. They're going to help. The firemen came. They all helped to get Otto up. But where can we take him, I asked. Uptown? Downtown? Where are they going to take him? See Otto? He's being held up on the ladder. Where are they going to take him? Let's see if you're right. To the pool, yelled the firemen. To the pool, I yelled. And please hurry. Why do you think he wants to hurry? Yeah, Otto needs some water. They did hurry. The fire truck with Otto came right up to the pool. The fireman yelled, everyone get out of the pool. This fish is going in. So everyone needs to move because they don't want to be with a big fish. What do you think is going to happen next? Down into the pool went Otto. Into the pool with a big, big splash. Now I was happy. Now at last my Otto had water, lots of water. This big pool was just a thing. This big pool would hold him. So the big pool is going to hold him, we think. Let's see, do you think the pool will hold him? But Otto went right on growing and no one wanted Otto in the pool. They did not like Otto at all. You take that fish out of here, they yelled. So now what are they going to do? It looks like he outgrew the fire truck. So where's Otto going to go? There was just one thing to do. I did it. I ran to the phone. I called Mr. Carp. Please, please help me, I said. I fed Otto too much. You think Mr. Carp will know what to do? I didn't even think to call him. Oh dear, said Mr. Carp. So you fed him too much? I knew you would. I always say don't, but you boys always do. Yes, I will come. Do you think Mr. Carp can fix big Otto? When Mr. Carp came, he had a black box in his hand. He had a lot of other things too. 
What are you going to do, Mr. Carp? I asked him. But Mr. Carp said nothing. He just went right up to the pool. He's just walking right up. Looks like he has some gear on. Protect him for when he's swimming. He took his black box with him and all the other things too. Splash! Mr. Carp jumped into the pool. So, what's he going to do, do you think? He can't just catch him. He's way bigger than Mr. Carp. Splash! Now Otto went down too. Wait a second, it looks like he's shrinking. And all I could see was his tail. I could not see Mr. Carp at all. What was going on down there? What were they doing down there in the water? What do you think they're doing? Looks like he's shrinking, but how do you think he's shrinking him? Now I could see nothing. Not Otto, not Mr. Carp, nothing at all. Would I see my Otto again? Would I see Mr. Carp again? Mr. Carp, Mr. Carp, I yell. What are you doing? Are you all right? You think Mr. Carp and Otto are okay? Then he jumped, then up jumped Mr. Carp. In his hand was a little fish bowl. In the bowl was my Otto. Mr. Carp had made him little again. Don't ask me how I did it, he said, but here's your fish. So it's a secret. It's like magic. Ooh, I never got to show you guys any magic tricks. Hmm. And from now on, said Mr. Carp, please don't feed him too much. Just so much and no more. So what kind of lesson did the boy learn? Right, don't feed Otto too much because he'll grow and grow and grow and grow and be way too big. Now that is what I always do. Now I feed Otto so much and no more. Never more than a spot or something may happen. And now I know what. So if a trusted adult tells you what to do, should you listen to him? Yes, you definitely should. Okay, happy Friday, guys. I hope I can see you guys on Wednesday, maybe when you pick up your stuff. See ya.